California dad is granted full custody of four-year-old son after the boy's mom tried to raise the child non-binary. Yeah, meanwhile in Texas, the courts are are protecting the, the, the uh, mother when she's trying to mutilate the kids. Which of these states is conservative again? I, I, I don't know. A California dad has been granted full custody of his now four-year-old son after the boy's mother tried to raise him non-binary and forced him to wear a dress and uh, makeup. And makeup. Texas, are you taking notes? California is more based than you in this regard. Uh, Harrison Tinsley announced his victory in the years-long legal battle with his ex-girlfriend to gain full custody of his son, Sawyer, in an update on his online fundraiser for legal fees on July 18th. Good. I guess that's one of the few online fundraisers that actually worked out well. Uh, I love to see it. So the father of one described how it felt like he was watching a miracle and then found out uh, oh, when he found out he would be the boy's full-time caregiver. It's definitely a, a pretty wonderful feeling to fight for something so hard and to actually achieve it, since he told the Daily Signal. Oh, yeah. Uh, if he was in Texas, yeah, they would have given the woman full custody and they may have even arrested him. Yet California, of all places, is like, yeah, this is effed up, man. We can't allow this. Uh, Tinsley explained that he has always wanted to be a father and was ecstatic when his girlfriend told him in current year minus five she was pregnant. Unfortunately, that excitement turned to pain when his mother, who suffers from serious underlying medical uh, uh, mental health problems, abruptly ended our relationship and prevented me from seeing Sawyer, uh, he wrote uh, in the fundraiser. Huh. So Tinsley was able to meet his son when Sawyer was 15 months old and the two uh, quickly bonded. Sawyer is not uh, only my best friend, he's the most amazing, greatest blessing in my life, he said. But the boy's mother had begun a, a same-sex relationship and started to identify as non-binary, treating Sawyer as non-binary as well. She calls him they and puts him in dresses, girls, uh, girl diapers and makeup, Tinsley wrote. Now, are, are you suddenly enlightened as to why more and more kids at younger and younger ages are starting to identify as alphabet soup? You think it might be because the parents are brainwashing them into it and they're not naturally that in any way? Hmm. Uh, she threw Sawyer a girly theme party for his second birthday when she made him wear a dress and don uh, donned with a sheriff's badge. Another time, he told the Daily Signal the mother bought Sawyer to Disneyland but would not let him go on rides unless he wore uh, the princess shoes she got him. H how is that not child abuse? This is literally child abuse. It's not enough that the guy get full custody. The, the kid's mother needs to be in prison. This is fucking child abuse. But Sawyer fought back against his mother, Tinsley wrote. Good boy. Uh, Sawyer says his mother tells him that he is both a boy and a girl, but Sawyer is fully aware that he is a boy, he said. Uh, thankfully, he has my rebellious spirit and fights back whenever his mother gaslights him. Yeah, I hope he remembers this when he gets older, too. However, I'm certain that this is confusing him and emotionally traumatizing. He is not old enough to even be thinking about this ideology, but his mother is coercing him into it. Arrest her. Uh, Tinsley then filed a motion for custody for the boy last year after he learned that Sora's mother was arrested for felony child endangerment and subsequently discovered she slandered and defamed him. This needs to happen more often, but unfortunately, uh, the, the reason it doesn't is because of money. Yeah, it's because of money. This guy, he didn't have the money to fight this in court himself. He had to do a GoFundMe. That's the reason that they keep getting away with it. Uh, he said he uh, presented eight hours of police body cam footage, 800 pages of documentary evidence and psychological studies showing Sawyer's health, uh, safety, and well-being were jeopardized by his mother, her mental health problems, and political ideology. But the judge at the time ruled against him. Yep, so th that pretty much doubled his costs. By December, current year minus one, Tinsley's appeal had begun, and he uh, recently told the Daily Signal that a settlement had been reached when he uh, was granted full custody and the final say if there are any disagreements between him and the boy's mother. The settlement came after uh, CPS did an investigation and recommended that Tinsley get full custody of the boy and that the boy's mother undergo full drug and alcohol testing. California, man, you, you're surprising me there. Texas has a lot to learn from you. Over the course of the investigation, Tinsley said the boy's mother tried to paint him as some right-wing hillbilly from Mississippi or something, even though it had nothing to do with the investigation, and that sh it shouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think that was one of the reasons that uh, th th that you were able to to uh, get this this issue resolved, because even CPS probably was like, "I why is he, why does he have anything to do with this?" Oh, I see what it is. 
Yep, they, they, they knew that she was evil right then and there. Uh, in reality, I'm just some California dude with long hair and skinny jeans, but that's ridiculous to make that up about me. It's unclear what prompted CPS to investigate the mother, but Tinsley said he's grateful to the investigator. Oh, I, I hope it was some anonymous tip or something. Yeah, whoever it was that that tipped him yeah, could have saved this kid's life. So, so good job. If you know some kid is being abused, yeah, report that. It was extremely favorable for Sawyer and me, he said in a recent podcast of the Daily Signal. I am uh, just so grateful that CPS in San Francisco, California, put politics aside and did what they felt was best for the child. Yeah, this is one of the very few times that that, uh, the court actually rules in the best interests of the child. Because usually they call it best interests of the child, but they really mean the best interests of the mother. Because they routinely uh, endanger and uh, go against the best interests of the child to go in favor of the best interests of the mother. So it was divine that I got the CPS worker I did, and they really did their job. They did not care about the politics, he added, knowing that he believes the mother's mental health issues and the scary situations they caused contributed to CPS's recommendations. Yeah, even CPS was like, damn, this bitch crazy. Yeah, maybe it's not for the best to leave the kid with her. Huh. It's sad, though, uh, that it had to get so severe, Tinsley said, arguing that he believes anyone who pushes gender ideology and young children's uh, ha- have to have some serious underlying mental health issues. That's an objective fact. And it's madness, Tinsley said. Uh, kids don't care about sex or identify or identity or all these fake weird concepts. They just care about having fun and getting to spend their time with their parents. Uh, it's insane we're even considering this as a possibility to talk to children with. Yep. They, they don't care about any of that until they hit puberty. Then suddenly sex is the only thing they care about. Uh, Tinsley said he wants to help other parents who may be dealing with similar situations, calling gender ideology one of the greatest evils we've ever done as he compared it to lobotomies. I think it's worse, if I'm being honest. Taken on a, an, an individual level, a lobotomy is worse. But uh, compare the number of lives that have been ruined by lobotomies to how many lives have been ruined by toxic gender ideology. Yeah, I, I think gender ideology has ruined more lives by orders of magnitude. I just want to help more people protect chillins, Tinsley said. I want to protect more kids. I think it's the battle of our lifetime. I agree with you. This dude is dead on. So as for Sawyer, Tinsley said the boy's been in his custody for about four and a half months, and he's thriving. He's doing so good in every way. Socially, he has less uh, tantrums and, and tantrums now and just seems like his overall well-being is just dramatically improved, having uh, that constant stability. And I'm sure, uh, and I'm just so thankful to be a part of it, the proud father said. Tinsley went on to say he's uh, so excited to be making a brighter future for him and to watch him grow. The proud dad said it's just going to be amazing, so he's going to have a great life. Awesome. Uh, you you may want to keep paying attention to the mother, though, because uh, something tells me she's going to keep trying to abuse the legal system in, in, in order to keep messing with him. And, and uh, th- this is the, the same concept that's behind like false flagging campaigns. Yeah, if you file a thousand false reports, yeah, if even if 999 of them are rightly rejected, eventually one of them is going to sneak through. And I think that's what, what his ex might be trying to do. She, she might actually just try to keep uh, uh, spamming the system until something makes it through. So you, the, the, this dude needs to be ready. I, I would say make it extra difficult for her and leave the country if you can. Like That's one way to make damn sure. But even then, it's not a guarantee. But either way, good job, dude. And I, and I have to give props to California for this one. It doesn't happen very often, but now in this specific case, California is showing Texas how it's done. We'll see if those trad cucks ever learn.